This is basically what everyone's been waiting for. Dragonlance, Key of Destiny, Age of Mortals Campaign, Volume 1 by Christopher Coyle. Actually, my email's been exploding over this soft cover. No, I'm lying. Uh, this is something I just picked up. Official Wizards licensed product. Sovereign Press, D20 system. Printed in the United States. Uh, is there a, yeah, 2004. Uh, I went to my local hobby shop, of always, and found this in the discount bin. Thought I'd pick it up. Did a quick eBay search. It's a $50 book. I paid a lot less than that today. Uh, so we wanted to actually pick it up. Anything D&D is actually always good for me to take a look at. So let's take a look. It's probably a soft cover. Oh, it is. And look at that pages. It actually has like a glossy finish. I wonder if this is a print on demand. But I'm sure this is something that you, oh, this is the first printing. This is probably something that you definitely find on drive-thru RPG, I bet. So we got a simple table of contents, introduction. We've got a little bit of the art splash going on here. Finding the key. Wow. We got a map, page six, City of uh, Passion. Uh, start flipping through it. Actually, the pages are actually pretty glossy and it almost feels like there's the pages are sticking together, but I think that's just because of the texture of the pages. But actually, it's nice, it's glossy, and it's pretty high end uh, compared to some of the other books that I go through. Uh, here's some more art splash. Uh, here we go. There's an encounter. Dark Knight Patrol. Hit points nine. See page 162. Ooh. So you know what that means. There's an appendix that's going to give us stats for all these guys. So maybe that's something that we can pull out of this book that's interesting enough. Uh, one of the reasons why I did pick this up, I know Dragonlance does have a really strong following. Even to this day, even though D&D hasn't really been supporting it as much as they should. Um, but maybe in a future release, they'll actually give Dragonlance some love again. Um, I find... Uh, there is still collectors out there that are currently still looking for Dragonlance books. So when I saw this, I was like, ah, I'm going to pick it up. The price is right. And I thought I would uh, take a look because Sewer is a passion. That's kind of interesting. They actually, There's actually uh, a sewer map. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Um, like everything, you always try and grab the book and try and pull up something that you definitely do like about it. Uh, a bunch of spider webs, un unstable ceiling. Oh, so it's all webs holding up all the low webbing, high webbing, egg sacs, and rubble. Oh, that's got to suck in that room. But uh, yeah, just flipping through. It does like, it, uh, obviously there isn't as much art in there. So, because art is expensive. Um, so a company like this probably did go a little lower on the artwork to try and get as much crunch in every page. Every page actually has a smaller font. There's uh, like every splash page such as this, you get one, two, three, four columns, but not much spaces. So you do get a lot of crunch, good story out of it. Um, some rumors that you might be able to steal for something or even run this as yourself. Ruin of Hurum. Actually, I like that map. That's actually kind of nice. Um, encounters, random encounter list. Oh, the Guardian's Tower. I like that. That's actually quite nice. Um, so what else is going on here? Shatter Temple. From what I understand, this takes you from like level one up. So this is book one of, I don't know how many bucks. Is there two, three? I bet two or even more than that. I bet they've actually become quite rare because I bet this one is rare and, and uh, heard the reviews are actually not too bad when I did the quick search before buying it uh, the reviews were pretty good it still holds value on eBay so if you come across this definitely pick it up depending on how much you find it for uh, chambers uh, shattered temple see like something like this even if you never run this kind of com campaigns uh, look up ST36. That room alone might be something that you can put into your own game, your own campaign. Or, like for example, like these rumors, you could always read through those rumor pages and never know. Maybe you could use something like that in some other game that you run. But yeah, this book is all but crunches. 
Hall of the Dead. Across the Sand and Sea. Ooh, so we get a little bit of a uh, across the ocean onto the desert, maybe. Uh, so far, we're, like, I'm just kind of flipping through. We're at 100 pages already. So let's just kind of flip through and see how many pages there are. Oh, wow. Look at that map. Try and reproduce that on the table. You'd have to photocopy, uh, scan that, blow it up, put that just on a table, and then just kind of hopefully have it laminated so you can at least do dry erase or wet erase on there so you can at least mark out where everyone's going. Try and explain that verbally. Um, inside the peak encounters, oh, so it's like black pudding. So this is still pretty low level stuff. Uh, successful DC 25 spot check. Pickling the queen. Um, yeah, oh, so this is uh, some of the people that you might come across, Pathians. Oh, so let's, let's back up a little. Let's take a look here a little nicer. The Ritual Chamber, Vision of Light. Oh, here we go. Monsters and Magic. Uh, axe Builder, Soldier. Queen. Pathian. Spider, Monsters, Trap Door. The Society. Item spells, oh, new spells. So energy barrier, uh, emulation, diviner of life. So some of that stuff might be actually pretty cool to take a look at. Characters and creatures. Also, oh, these are all the NPCs. Pre-built NPCs that you can rob and use somewhere else. Uh, Silver Shadow. Soul Burns, it's a male young red dragon. Yeah, a nice little piece of art to try and finish off the book. And then we have a campaign source book for the Sovereign Stone. And then empty page and then back to color back page. Uh, I don't see a price on here for what it came out originally for. But uh, yeah, uh, this was something I didn't see much uh, information on. Uh, a little bit of information, a couple few reviews found on eBay. It's a book worth picking up. Thanks.